Hi kids! Today we will learn more about light energy. So let's get started. Kids, we learned that we see any object because of the light that hits on it reflects back and that reflected light makes us see that object. So let's learn more about it. Does all the light hitting an object reflect back or some of it? Let's learn. Actually, not all light is reflected back. Some of it is absorbed by the object. Here is an example. If we strike light on a solid object, say a bag, the light hitting the bag will not pass through it. It will be absorbed by the bag as it's a solid object. Very little amount of light will pass through them. This is why solid objects cast shadows as light is not able to pass through them. The area exactly behind the bag is darker. As light is not able to pass through the bag. And this is what we call as shadow. Transparent objects. Objects that let all the light to pass through them are called transparent objects or clear objects, like any clear glass or clear plastic. Example, window panes, spectacles, car windshields, light bulb, thermometer, aquarium, transparency sheets, ice, and clean water are examples of transparent things. You can see the details of the objects on the other side of the transparent objects. It is because all the light passes through. Translucent objects. Translucent objects allow some light to pass through them, but not all light. Some light is absorbed or reflected. It can be seen through, but not completely. Tinted windows, frosted glass, sunglasses, wax papers, color liquids in a glass, oil papers, colored syrups, and certain stones are examples of translucent objects, opaque objects. Objects that do not let any light to pass through them are called opaque objects. Some of the light is reflected back and some is absorbed. Here are some examples of opaque objects. Now let's see another interesting thing. Do you know light consists of seven colors? We can see the seven colors of light using a prism. When we allow a beam of white light to pass through a glass prism, the white light splits into seven colors and we see a beautiful band of seven colors like a rainbow. The seven colors are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. In short, you can say Vibgyor. These are the seven colors that light is made up of. You often see white light splitting into seven colors in a rainbow too. Whenever light falls on an object, for instance, the red object, all other colors of the light are absorbed by the object and only the red color portion of the light is reflected back. And that is why the object appears red to us. If an object is green, it will absorb all the other colors except for green. And green color is reflected because of which it appears green to us. White color objects reflects all the light or all colors of the light and absorbs none. That's why they appear white. Black color objects absorbs all light 
or all colors of the light and reflects none, and so appears black. Because black absorbs all colors or all light, black clothes makes us feel hot in the sun as they absorb more light. And white color clothes makes us feel better when it's sunny outside as they reflect all the light and absorbs none. This is why we should wear white and light color clothes when it's hot outside and dark color clothes when it's cold outside. So kids, today we learned how divert types of objects absorbs and reflects different amounts of light. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.